inspired you? How were you inspired to start writing writing uh, quotes? Uh, I I think it's like a dream, and I saw myself uh, vibing into a quote from other uh, actors, good actors, uh, such as uh, uh, Ben Carson, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Duke Jolie. Uh, Zig Ziglar, I quite a number of them. So <laughs> when I went through their work, I told myself that I, I, I can do this. And then along the line, I saw myself receiving inspirations, like someone giving me inspiration, telling me things in the year. Then and I said, why don't I put these things down? Why don't I document them? Why don't I write it somewhere? Mm -hmm. like, have it safe. To, to introduce today to you, uh, Israel actually, the, one of his pieces, his quotes that I that really stumped me was don't let the door don't let the door close on behind your success because there is always someone who can learn from you. And I, that inspired me when I read that, you know, from his profile. And so I want to introduce you today to to Israel, and he is a poet, and I love writing poetry and, and I, I love quotes myself. And so I was uh, just speaking with him about what inspired, what inspired you and also within your community. I just wanna know, tell us more about what you do and how quotes inspire what you do in your business. Welcome. Okay. Um, first and foremost, in simple term, God is the author of inspiring sight. So I, I, I can always give that glory to God. But like I said earlier, um, most of the time in my closets, I receive these inspirations, document them. So as I documenting it, as I writing them down, as I dropping them in groups, and before you know it, I now realize I have more of it that I could really not tell where and how it all came about. But along the line, I, decided to put them down, decided to write them somewhere, store them. Then each time, like I'm talking to you now, before you know it, I get a vibe. Before you know it, I get inspiration. But the main idea behind one quote a day, the main idea behind this inspiration is this, that I get it from events, I get it from surroundings, what I have in my surroundings, animals, trees, plants, what people say, and events that follow thereafter. So this is how I get my quotes, and that's where I draw them from. Wonderful. What, and, and how, your quotes, uh, how do they influence your community? And also, what about your, your if, are you uh, a small business owner, right? An entrepreneur, correct? But I, I created a niche for myself and, and a brand that I called One Quote a Day. So uh, with one quote a day, I've been able to affect lives in a positive magnitude by uh, letting out my voice out there and, and affect different areas of life, like uh, ecosystem, like uh, humanity, like being kind to people, then business tips and every other areas of life. 